Country music as we know it may not have been possible without the Chicago radio scene. The Barn Dance premiered in Chicago 100 years ago. Yeah, setting the stage for all that followed in country music. So what would a barn dance be like in 2024? Well, one live radio show is answering that question with conversation, poetry, and of course, music. Paul Derica and Paul Collins join us now with more. Guys, thanks for being here. Yes. Thanks, thanks for inviting us. So Paul Derica, tell us about, if anyone's not aware of barn dance, when this took place in the city of Chicago and kind of how it set the stage for country music in the future. Yeah. Well, as you mentioned, we have to go back 100 years. Crazy. So all the way back to April 19th, 1924, there was a radio station called WLS. It had been on the air all, for all of a week at that time. And they had an open slot. And they decided they were going to try something different. They were going to hire somebody that they knew who could play the fiddle and just put that person on the air and see how people responded. And it was such a popular segment that they decided they were going to bring it back the next week and this show evolved into what it was called the National Barn Dance, and it ran all the way from 1924 up through the late 1960s. Yeah, well, Paul, you are the source of history. You work at the um, Chicago History Museum. You're the head of uh, exhibitions there. But Paul C., my goodness, you are a legend in your own right. You started dancing <laughs> when you were how old? Eight, eight years old. And then you called your first square dance when you were? Twelve. All right, so what, I mean, what drew you to this? Like, and why have you stayed in it for so long? My grandfather liked not only country music, but also ethnic music. And he used to listen to all those radio stations, and he turned me on to the barn dance, national barn dance on the radio. And all the, in the high end of the Chicago dial, there was all these ethnic radio music programs, like Ukrainian and Polish mm -hmm. and Mexican, and he liked that. So he got me into it. And then you got hooked. Yeah, so here you are now calling barn dances, and you guys have kind of joined forces for this show that's coming up. You're going to do two shows. They're going to be recorded live, um, and then you're going to air them on the radio as to what a barn dance would be like now. So tell us about the shows. That's right. So the original barn dance was on Saturdays, mm -hmm. and at the height of its popularity, there would be two shows on a Saturday night at the 8th Street Theater before a live audience, and they would be broadcast out across the country. So we're basically doing the same thing. So on Saturday, April 20th, at the hideout, you can come and catch either a 5.30 show or an 8.30 show, be part of the live audience. But then it's also being recorded, and it's going to be broadcast May 11th on WFMT. Wow. And Paul C., what makes a good uh, square dancer, and, and what makes a good caller? Like Anybody can be a good dancer. All you have to do is <laughs> really? be You're putting be a lot willing. of faith in us, But Paul. what about a caller, though? That takes a lot of, you know, timing I mean, skill. Like Timing. You've got to listen to, you've got to be patient with people, as we talked about earlier. <laughs> You got to uh, be able to communicate how to do the things in a very clear, in a clear and concise manner, mm -hmm. and get people comfortable in making you're mistakes. Kind of the conductor, right? Like with a symphony, you've got to like call it out so everybody knows what they're yeah. doing. They're not as strict, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think. Can you show us a couple of moves real quick? We'll tr we'll absolutely try <laughs> okay. to do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. We're going to try right. this. Okay. He's like, we're oh, going to try it. <laughs> we're going to do something. Okay. All right. All right. Chain. Okay. So the ladies' right. chain, what will happen is the ladies are going to make a right-hand chain starting okay. moving across the circle okay. what's to the other, oh, to the other uh -huh. side. Uh -huh. And we will do what's called the courtesy turn. We'll back around. Ooh, the courtesy turn. I think you saw And okay. then we'll do the same thing, chain them back the other okay. way. Ooh, okay. And Look at us uh -huh. go. Oh, we got to turn. Right I mean, corner. you guys, this is what you're seeing right <laughs> okay. now is a basic step that probably you've tried for about 10 minutes to actually teach us. And we're, yeah. we did pretty good there, but there well, are professionals. Like two minutes, and you did a great job. <laughs> Show us how to really do it in a little bit. Okay. Paul, real quick, we also talked about yeah. Chicago and this show kind of setting the stage for what became country music and what we hear today. Even the Grand Old yeah. Opry. Do you think that all goes back to that original show here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, without Chicago and the barn dance 100 years ago, there wouldn't be a Nashville and the Grand Old Opry as we know today. In fact, the original title of the Grand Old Opry it was the WSM Barn Dance, because that was the station down in Nashville. Well, Nashville yeah. can thank Chicago. You're welcome, okay. Nashville. All right. So, <laughs> hey, hey, the gang's all here is at the Hideout Chicago. I talk about another institution, the Hideout yeah, Chicago. No That's a whole other story. Saturday, April 20th. For tickets and more information, just head to hideoutchicago.com or find them on Instagram at Hideout Chicago. And stick around. We're actually going to get a sneak peek at the show just ahead. The professionals.